In this video, we are looking at a massive system that's bringing tornadoes throughout the south throughout this weekend. It's also fixing to bring a bunch of snowfall to the Midwest. We're going to start off the video with the day one convective outlook. This is the severe thunderstorm outlook. If you are a new viewer, we typically look at this when we do expect severe thunderstorms impacting a certain area in the United States. As you can see, we have enhanced risk for severe storms across Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee. That's an enhanced risk for severe storms in that orange area. We also have a slight risk for severe storms. So at level 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, the enhanced is a level 3 out of 5 on the severe weather scale. That is a slight risk for severe storms. As we could also see some very widespread severe storms throughout today. We also have a marginal risk, which is an isolated threat. Isolated threat for severe storms in that dark green area. In the light green, you could see some normal thunderstorm activity. We have a significant tornado threat throughout today in that black hatched region. That's where you could see potentially EF2 to EF5 tornadoes throughout today. And also in that yellow risk, which is a 10% risk for tornadoes as we could also see a pretty decent chance that you could see a tornado in that yellow shaded region we also have a five percent chance for tornadoes we you still have a very decent chance for seeing some tornadoes in that brown shaded area also that two percent you will you will have a very low chance for tornadoes but the, they'll definitely still possible in that green shaded region wind risk for today and tonight we do have a 30 percent chance for 70 mile per hour wind gusts and up in that red shaded area from that in that 15 and 5 percent chance which is the yellow and brown you do have around a 10 to 15 percent chance that you could see 60 mile per hour wind gusts hail is not going to be a huge threat we are in december so hail is typically uh, not super likely within these storms but do have a 15 percent chance they could see quarter size hail here's a day three outlook we do have a slight risk for severe storms not a big risk right now but it definitely could be upgraded in the future we will be talking more about that in tomorrow's video but for now we're just going to le leave that be we're going to be talking about today's severe storms and we even have a severe risk for day four and this is going to be on new year's day uh and it's definitely looking like a pretty decent tornado chance so definitely stay tuned uh for new year's day that actually has a chance of uh, for a severe weather live stream so definitely stay tuned for that all right we're gonna look at the gfs model for this pretty much looking at the whole storm here so as you can see, uh, we have some snow showers right now and some widespread overall light snowfall over there in the northwest. We do have some rain showers over there in the Appalachian Mountains and in around Texas, uh, Mississippi, and Alabama. Let's, however, move throughout the day here. As you can see, you could see some of those thunderstorms start developing around 3 p.m. And those will be moving out th uh, throughout Mississippi and Tennessee uh, throughout the evening hours here. You see those severe storms now moving into more eastern Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, those will be moving more eastward by the uh, by 12 a.m. of Thursday. And those will be moving out by, it should be around the early morning hours of Thursday. Those should be moving out of uh, Mississippi. And it should overall turn into rainstorms by 3 p.m. of Thursday. As you can see, those rain showers and thunderstorms start to move throughout uh, Alabama, uh, the Carolinas. You do have a marginal risk for severe storms, by the way, on Friday, by the way, on Thursday. So definitely, uh, you do have a little bit of a chance for some severe storms. However, let's go ahead and move forward here. And as this is all happening, you see a low pressure kind of stalling out around the Colorado area. And it finally starts to move forward. Once you get to around 12 a.m. of January 1st, you can see those severe thunderstorms already developing around 3 a.m. So 3 a.m., you could see a potentially a round of uh, severe thunderstorms and then another round of severe thunderstorms about 12 p.m. of January 1st and you're starting to see a bunch of heavy snowfall uh, reach from all the way from the panhandle of Oklahoma uh, even into uh, northern Indiana you could see some pretty heavy snowfall and possibly ice icy conditions 
over there in Missouri, uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, potentially some of those icy conditions. But a lot of heavy snowfall over there in Kansas, Missouri, Illinois could also see some of the heavy snowfall. Iowa, uh, Wisconsin may see a little bit of that. Uh, Michigan is definitely going to be hit, getting hit pretty decent with this heavy snowfall as this moves northeastward. And pretty much the only part of the New England area that will see snowfall on January 2nd will be northern Maine until about January 3rd, early morning hours. That's when you will see more uh, light snowfall moving in around the early morning hours of January 3rd and that should be quickly moving out by the uh, midday hours of January 3rd. Like I said, more details on that severe weather outbreak potential in the south for that winter storm that'll be on New Year's Day. That'll be coming out probably the morning hours of actually New Year's Day. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll be a very quick briefing of that severe weather uh, potential, um, but I might even just do a live coverage of that instead. So definitely stay tuned for the details of that. We're gonna we're gonna end the video off with the total snowfall amounts. All right, so here's the total snowfall amounts uh, from the GFS model, and as you can see in those light blues or those grays, you could see potentially a one to two inch uh, snowfall, one to two inches of snowfall. Typically, you could you'd call it around a dusting. Once you get into those more darker blues, though, you get to around three to five inches of snow snowfall and that'll be reaching from this from eastern Colorado all the way up here uh, to southern Maine so you could see a potentially three to five inches of snowfall in those um, blues those more darker blues once you get into those more more darker and darker blues into those purples you could potentially see up to uh, five to eight inches of snowfall and you're gonna even into those uh, lighter pinks magentas I should say you could, you could potentially see some up to a foot of snowfall up here in Maine you could potentially see up to 15 the 17 inches of snowfall in more of those extreme northern uh, main areas and more of those pinker colors. Uh, so that's pretty much the only area you could you could potentially see 15 to 17 inches of snowfall. But overall, you could see a foot of snowfall in this type of region. So if you're in that type of region, you, you could be pretty lucky if you do like snowfall. It will hopefully be a pretty wet snowfall. So snowman and snowballs will be quite easy. Um, but that'll be in the end of the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss another upload or live stream. Also, make sure to show this to any friends or family that want the latest details on either the severe weather or the wintry weather that's going to be coming to both the Midwest and South. But anyways, stay safe.